If you use Microsoft 365 in your business, then there's going to be some massive price changes happening in March 2022 that will affect your business. Find out all about those price changes in today's video. But before we start, my name is Jonathan Edwards and I'm a business IT consultant from Yorkshire in the UK. We help businesses with their IT support and the cybersecurity. The majority of businesses that I know use Microsoft 365. It's such an integral part of the business technology. It runs the business email system. It's a place to store the files and folders. And they use Microsoft Teams for collaboration. Now, since its inception 10 years ago, Microsoft have added a whopping 24 different applications to the Microsoft 365 suite. But over the last 10 years, one thing hasn't changed, and that is the price. And Microsoft are changing all that in March 2022. So without further ado, let's have a look at the change to the pricing and the terms and how it might affect your business. As a side note, when I'm talking about the price increases, you'll notice that I'm talking about them in US dollars. As I'm recording this video, Microsoft have only announced the price increases in US dollars. But the increase in your country will be about the same, and it's going to be about 15%. Firstly, Microsoft 365 Business Basic will increase from $5 per license per month to $6. Then Microsoft 365 Business Premium, which is a product that we always recommend, will increase from $20 per license per month to $22 per license per month. Then there's Office 365 E1, which will increase from $8 per license per month to $10 per license per month. Office 365 E3 will increase from $20 per license per month to $23 per license per month. And finally, Office 365 E5 will increase from $35 per license per month to $38 per license per month. Now you might have noticed that I've not included Microsoft 365 Business Standard or Microsoft 365 E5. As of yet, no pricing increases have been announced for these products. The reason is unknown, so it might change in future. Also, any home products or not-for-profit or education products, again, no price increases have been announced for these products, so the pricing for those stays the same. So that covers the pricing increases. Basically, Microsoft increasing the prices of most 365 products by about 15%. I find this difficult to argue with because as I've mentioned before, they have released so many extra products in the last few years without increasing the prices. You still are getting a lot for your money when it comes to Microsoft 365. But unfortunately, at the same time as they announced the price increases, they also announced some changes to the terms in which you buy the licenses. And that might be a little bit more concerning for you. All of those price increases that I've just mentioned are for an annual commitment. So what exactly does that mean? Well, if today your business needs 25 Microsoft 365 Business Premium licenses, then you have to commit to 25 licenses for 12 months. What happens if your business shrinks? Perhaps you've got to lay five members of staff off. So all you really need is 20 licenses. Well, you can't do that. You've still got to pay for the 25 licenses until the 12 months have expired. Of course, if your business grows and you suddenly need 30 or 35 licenses, Microsoft will let you increase your licenses, just not decrease them during the 12 month term. So how does this new approach differ from what Microsoft does today? Well, at the moment, Microsoft bill on a monthly basis. As a business, you can increase the licenses or you can decrease them and you will only be charged monthly. So what if you're a business owner watching this video and you're thinking, well, our business grows and shrinks quite a lot. Perhaps it's a seasonal business and during the summer months, you have a lot more licenses. Do Microsoft have a monthly option going forward? Well, yes, they do. But unfortunately, that 15% increase that I talked about won't be 15%. It'd be more 35 to 40%. That would be a massive increase in your costs to go for the monthly option. 
the annual commitment is going to work out better even though you've got to commit to a certain number of licenses for 12 months so there's the changes that microsoft are going to be making to their microsoft 365 program from march 2022 most of the 365 products are increasing in price by about 15 percent and you've got to commit to an annual contract. If you want the monthly option, you're gonna be looking at a price increase of about 35%. And there's just one final thing to know. When you commit to your 365 licensing through your IT provider, you've got to stay with the IT provider for your licensing for the 12 month term. Again, this is different to how it works now. If you want to move IT provider, you can just move those licenses to a new IT provider. You won't be able to under the new model. So if you're unhappy with your IT provider at the moment, it might be a good time to change before March 2022. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope you found it informative. If you've got any questions, as always, please ask.